Okay, hello everyone. Welcome back again. This is a video tutorial for uh, chapter three, which is uh, demo outlet tool works or speedway design. So then uh, we will go to energy dissipation. Okay, thank you. So let us see. This is a uh, chapter three example. So you have uh, design a suitable uh, section for the overflow uh, portion of a concrete gravity dam spillway having downstream slope uh, 0 0.7 to 1 vertical and a vertical upstream phase. So you have design discharge over the spillway is 8000 meter cube per second and the spillway height is kept at reduced level 204 meter above sea level and the average uh, river bed level at the site is 100 meter. The spillway crust consists of six spans with a clear width of 10 meter each. The thickness of each pier is 2.5 meter. So you will have pier contraction coefficient Kb 0.01 and abutment contraction coefficient Ka this one. So you have a six span. So you can see this is a spillway structure. So you have six spans, one, two, three, four, five, six. You have a spillway pier and spillway span. So span is just uh, the width of the spillway which uh, passes excess uh, or surplus flood over that. So this is a spillway piers supported by RCC structure in between. So you have six spans and spillway piers and this is bottom outlet. So you may release constant withdrawal of water for downstream uh, requirement. You may have uh, fishing or or uh, irrigation or any purpose you can uh, release constant uh, withdrawal so let us see so initially you have to draw plan view so this is just one two three four five six span so you have piers piers in between so this is the right bank and this is the left bank so you have a design discharge passing through the spillway so this is uh, the plan view and this is a cross section so you have a spillway height p above river bed level up to the crest design head then approach head so effective head you have total approach head plus design head so spillway height design design head velocity or kinetic head or approach head and effective head so these are the given quantities so approach head you can calculate later on approach velocity square over 2g which is kinetic head so preliminary calculation you have to establish so the first step is just the number of peers how many peers you have if you have six span, then number of span minus one will be five. So you have you get this value, then you proceed. So assume high OG spillway with coefficient of discharge 2.2. This is initial assumption. So first approximation, if it is uh, just a high spillway, then effective length is equal to net crest length of the spillway. So you have six span, each 10 meter uh, width. So you multiply then you get 60 meter then you go to step two so you step two so the discharge over og spillway is given by this equation so this is the general equation for discharge over og spillway coefficient of discharge effective length then effective head the power of 1.5 so once you know this then you can see this pattern so you have uh, just uh, you have spillway this is uh, og spillway you have design head above that then maxima reservoir level, then this is normal pool level. So just uh, upper nappy you have the upper surface of uh, water, which is spilling over the spillway crust is upper nappy and lower nappy. This is a lower nappy, which is touching or gliding over uh, the spillway surface, lower nappy and spillway crust, okay spillway. So just uh, this is just to show you. So upstream uh, vertical face we are going to design so from this equation from this general equation you can calculate effective head so the effective head can be calculated as using this equation so you get 15.15.429 so once you get this value then step three height of spillway you should calculate so spillway crest level minus river bed level spillway crest level is this one then minus river bed level then you get 104 elevation you simply subtract so once you subtract this then 
since uh, p over hd speed away height over design head is more than 1.33 then it is high speed way so according to assumption it is high speed way so it uh, just conforms with the assumption so you calculate this value it is 1.33 so it is high speed way which means the effect of uh, velocity of approach is negligible so you can neglect the velocity of approach so which in turn approach head will be zero then effective head equal to design head because effective head is sum of uh, hd plus ha so since hd plus uh, d over he equal to he plus p over he more than 1.7 again discharge coefficient may not be affected by tail water condition so just tail water condition you check this equation so you get this value so it is more than 1.7 so the discharge coefficient is not affected by tail water condition hence the spillway remains high spillway so you have a high spillway so it remains high spillway so this is the discharge just passing through the spillway surface so i think you have six span we will see later on so step four just the effective length of the spillway so for round nosed piers round nosed piers kp 0.01 and for round abutment kp 0.1 so I think these are shift factors already given given just uh, you have uh, the shape of the piers shape of the piers means this one in front when water is just entering to uh, the span width of the spillway then the shape of this uh, supported uh, piers are just uh, round nosed piers round abutment so assume actual value of uh, effective head is slightly more than 1.15.5 meter take slightly larger than uh, larger than 15.5 say for example 16.3 let us take then using this value you can calculate effective links so effective links is uh, total uh, clear links of the spillway minus 2 nkp number of uh, number of uh, peers then kp coefficient of peer plus abutment coefficient times effective head so you get this value so this is the effective uh, length of the spillway which is just the discharge is passing through this uh, spillway spans with 55.11 effective lengths so using this you go again effective head calculate effective head so what is effective head 16.33 so almost nearly equal to the assumed value so you can design the shape of the crust using this uh, uh, head or uh, design head and effective head since uh, this approach head is negligible so the design head is equal to effective head so then the crust profile will be designed for hd is equal to h 16.33 so you can you can use this one so step five approach velocity can be calculated you can just compute approach velocity the velocity which is approaching to the entrance of the spillway gates so 8000 discharge you have area area means just from the bottom you calculate from the bottom from here p plus hd you have then width you have effective links you have then you multiply so 60 plus 5 peers times 2.5 total clear links before heating the spillway entrance you have 60 plus 5 times 2.5 then 104 plus 16.33 so you get this value so this is the result for approach velocity then approach head can be calculated now this is the approach head so you see which is negligible with respect to the height of the spillway you have 100 104 meter height of the spillway so this is just negligible negligible so you can design so step six the downstream ogi crust profile according to western experimental station standard profile you have this equation you know this equation this is the general equation for ogi spillway just uh, downstream ogi spillway so upstream for upstream uh, vertical face coefficient k to n 1.85 this is just you can uh, take from table okay so this is all about uh, today's tutorial Hopefully you liked the video.
If you have any comment or doubt regarding this topic, please let me know and write down in the comment section below. I will definitely reply on it 